Welcome back! In this video, we are going to get familiar with the Tiled Builder. There's a lot to know here, so we're going to keep things pretty high level for this video. I'm going to teach you about how to create a new micro app, how to update settings for a micro app, the three page states of a micro app, the basics of navigating the builder, and give you a high level overview of the embed and script tiles. If you haven't already been following along in your own tiled account, this is where I would strongly recommend you start doing so now. The best way to learn is to do, and the tiled builder is filled with things to do. First things first, we need to create a micro app. From the micro app library page, we click the plus button. This window is where we will decide what our micro app is named, as well as what format we would like to create our micro app in. We're going to name this micro app New York City. We are able to choose standard or wide for desktop, or for tablets and mobile devices, we can choose portrait or landscape. Ultimately, which option you choose is entirely up to you, what you're building, and how you believe your audience will consume your content. For this lesson, we're going to choose widescreen desktop, then click create micro app. Welcome to the tiled builder. First things first, let's get acquainted. As we go through, don't worry about memorizing all the names and the terms. This help article is available to you as a point of reference. Let's start with settings at the top by clicking the gear icon in the top center of the page. As you can see, there are five main sections to the micro app settings. General, security, instances, integrations, and sharing. Since we're keeping this video high level for now, we're going to explore the general settings page and leave the others for later videos. Within the general settings section, you can modify the micro app name, upload a cover image, change the background color of your micro app pages, add an accent color, or change the layout that you're working with. We can also change how transitions between pages of a micro app will appear, slide, jump, or simply appear. We'll talk about completion events more later. For now, simply click the X in the top right corner or click somewhere off of the window to close it. This is our pages tray. It shows us all of the pages included in our micro app, while this overlay menu shows us our overlays. We can also see our states here. Let's take a minute to define these. A page is the foundational piece of the micro app. Everything else we do to create micro app magic will depend on what pages we have, what tiles are then placed on those pages, what's layered on top of those pages, and how we want those pages to appear in specific instances. An overlay is a micro app page that is layered on top of an existing micro app page. Typically, this is accessed via a hotspot. Often, editors utilize video or image tiles in overlay pages to add a more dynamic pop-up feel to the micro app. Embedded content such as videos, forms, PDFs, or external websites are frequently utilized in overlays. States allow you to nest similar pages together without taking up space in the pages section on the left-hand side of the builder. In the tiled builder, states are seen as smaller sub-pages that are grouped within the source page. Let's look at an example. This is our page. When someone clicks here, they will see this page state. If they click here, they'll see an overlay. We will learn more about how to maximize the various page states in another video. For now, let's go back to the builder. In this bottom right corner, we see three important sections, background, assets, and library. We changed the default background color in our settings earlier. Here, we can upload an image to modify the background of this specific page or state. Simply upload our image to our assets and then drag it into the background box here. Speaking of assets, we can drag and drop images and videos from our computer, or we can click this plus sign and select them from the finder. Once we do, we'll be able to see them here in the assets tray. We simply drag them and drop them onto our page or into an image block. Same concept for video files. Tiled can accept JPEG, GIF, MP4, PNG, and SVG files. 
There's no official size limit, but the bigger your image is, the slower your micro app will be. We suggest keeping image files under two megabytes whenever possible. Video is the primary way micro apps end up large and bloated. We suggest compressing all videos before importing them into tiled. And if possible, try to use videos under 10 megabytes, especially for backgrounds and motion graphics. If you plan to have longer videos in your micro app, it's best not to set these on autoplay to accommodate load time. We recommend keeping the total size of all videos in a micro app under 50 megabytes. You also have the option to embed a video from an external public source. This will allow your micro app to keep the flow and feel of a video without the added weight of the video file itself. Above the background, assets, and library panels, we have our tiles. Each tile is pretty intuitive, so we won't dive into these too much right now. However, let's talk about the embed and script tiles. Tiled allows you to embed websites, forms, and other micro apps, as well as publicly shared PDFs and anything that has iframe capabilities. All you need is a URL to the content you want to iframe. Tiled also allows you to use HTML, JavaScript, and React scripts by using the script tile. You can write the scripts directly in the script tile or copy and paste your script from another editor. The script tile is a great low-code way to incorporate chatbots, pop-up forms, or Lottie animation files into your micro apps. Finally, we have our preview button. Click here to confirm the code is working, test hotspots, and get a feel for what your final product will look like. All done previewing? Just click the icon here. That was a lot. Let's do a quick review. We're now familiar with how to create a new micro app, how to update the settings for a micro app, the three page states, the basics of navigating the builder, and a high level overview of the embed and script tiles. In the next video, we're going to start putting this information into action. See you there.